Hey guys, so, um, Abby, Abby couldn't attend this, so I am now going to do this. I sound like Wolfie Chew, but I am not Wolfie Chew, I promise. Anyways, care tip number one for dogs. Always feed it. Like Abby showed you in the last video of how the dog died, um... That girl killed it, remember? She, um, uh, dogs don't live that long unless if you give it food and water. If you have, like, an automatic one for water and food, you're going to be fine. You don't have to change it. But if you don't and have to change it, like, every day since, um, since you, what's it called? Hold on. Is this thing even on? Okay, it's on. But, like, for, like, automatics, you don't have to change it until it's, like, two weeks or so. Because they had drank it all. Unless if they drink very little water. Or if they drink lots of water. Care tip number two is always take it on walks. You don't know how fat it's going to get if you don't take it on walks. Take it, like, on a walk every week. Like, take it on one walk one in a week. You just got to take care of it, you know? If you really want to own a dog, um, please contact your local um, animal shelter. Look for a dog that's not too pricey, but not too pretty. And, um... And also, take great care of it. It can go past its actual lifespan. You know that, right? Um, our dog, Buddy, or should I say Abigail's, or also known as Abby, or Burnt Spaghetti, um, has a dog that went over his lifespan. He's 19, and he's a chihuahua, and he's supposed to live 18. So, take good care of your dog. Do not do anything bad to it. If, like, you abused it and did this to it a lot, it'll stop. It'll think you're going to spank it. If you traumatize it, it will, it will behave all the time. I recommend not traumatizing it because you want a happy dog life. Do you not want a happy dog life? That's what I thought. Okay, number four. Whenever you go on trips, give it to someone who you know who will actually take great care of it. Give it to someone that really, really loves dogs. Like, no kidding, actually loves dogs. Like, they walk up to a dog every time they see one. I'm sorry you can't see my eyes. My nose is so high. Let me do this. Okay. Is that better now? Or should I do that? Okay, I'm going to take over for you, but you can uh, just stay with me. Okay, so care tip number four is that do not abuse it. If you abuse it, you will not have a happy dog life. It will actually be traumatized. Unless if you don't want it to be traumatized, then take good care of it. And at number four, do not get very mad of it. And take it to an animal shelter if it pees in your house. Just clean it up. Like, bada bing, bada boom. If it's a puppy and pees in your house, well, that's understandable. If it's an old dog and pees in your house, that's also understandable. It's understandable because um, they can't control themselves. They don't know how to control. If you leave them in a room for seven hours without, like, a litter box and stuff, then um, it'll pee everywhere. So you gotta leave like a litter box with it. I'm not saying that it's a cat, but but just saying like just leave a litter box, please. Number five. Um, I just want to talk about this. 
you know my last video where um that girl's dog died do not drag it by its collar it will choke it or break its neck it was eight months old so it doesn't know how to control itself because it's just a puppy i swear it's just they're puppies okay they're puppies they're puppies